Hello everybody and welcome to the Cosmo League Grand Finals. Today we've got Entropy versus Empire Gaming, two world-class teams battling out for a $300 prize ball. Uh, today I'm joined by Maxwell, he's one of our senior admins um, over at Cosmo League. Say hi Max. Hello. Hello. There it is. There it is. Right. So Number one. Number one. Number one versus number one. We've got Reen from Entropy attacking swiftly from empire gaming so what do we see in the army here max it looks like he's using a mishmash of a titan walk which is very interesting to see um that strategy definitely fits this base oh, very nice clone spells yeah very nice clone i think they are taking a little bit of splash there but it looks like you should get a decent amount of value from this going down most of that core section really assuming that those archers don't fall too early there they there yeah. it goes oh. gotta say that's a very nice they limp almost got the monolith there too i'm sure they'll be able to clear that up pretty easily with the rest especially if they keep up this that's my matter that that looked like a very nice start it's up to me they're just going to clear it down now Get down that EA. It, it should be pretty easy from here. Not seeing too many problems, but let's wait and see. Yep, they are attacking the Eagle, which is exactly what they want to do in this situation. That Eagle will take out your Titans so quickly. Yeah, there it goes. And that's it down. As quickly as it was being hit. Yeah, looks good with the Warden still alive. Definitely Absolutely. a lot of the heroes up. Just the king. Down. I think they're gonna. Mm -hmm. I believe they're gonna have some problems when they reach that monolith there, just because it has. It's, it was almost dead at the start, but it has regained full health. Mm, yeah. So that's something to keep in mind. It will shred those titans if it locks on. Uh, locks yeah. on even. <laughs> yeah, they may not make it there. Still pushing through. There's a decent amount of momentum, but. It does look like it's slowing down a bit. We're not sure if it's going to be a three. There goes the RC ability. And the RC is down. Oh no, the RC is still up. Sorry about that. No, but that's the ability gone. Come on, it locked on. RC is down. Oh, the it's still. Oh down. my goodness. The monitor just took took down the. Oh, it took down the warden, I believe. Archer still yes. up, but that's going to be. Oh still has her ability too there goes the ability now but if it's not going to lock onto that monolith oh it's too busy shooting out towers oh that's not uh. oh oh still got a little bit of clear up but not yeah that was a great first attack yeah. there that's a nice attack 94% two star which you predicted perfectly you're right i did say high twos i got it bang on here they go. Let's take the lead. Let's see. So we've got Swifty from Empire Gaming attacking against Addy from Entropy. What have we got here then, Max? This is a very interesting strategy. Looks like they're using a Super Bowler variant, which is. You don't normally see that at this level, so I'm very excited to see this attack. Of course, the blimp. Um, and I wonder where they're going to pop that blimp because they need to watch out for the poison tower right next to the town hall there. Very nice headhunter placement. Free spell. It's the queen's ability pretty early on. Yes, I'm sure he did not want to use that. Especially not that early. Yeah, let's see. Sure, the bulk of the army. There it is. There, in with all the super bowlers. It now looks... they haven't used their blimp yeah, yet, which really? I find interesting. Well, there oh, goes. there it goes. I'm guessing planning to use the warden ability just to get that, that in there. I'm sure they wanted to draw out that poison spell there like they just done. Yeah, there goes the ability. And there goes the town hall. Great job. 
very nicely done. There goes some more super bowlers as well from inside the blimp. There's ice yeah. going, going to work. And the core of the army still seems to be going pretty strong. Super Bowl is getting a lot of damage. RC is now in, was just deployed from the top right at about three o'clock. Yeah. Oh, but she is distracted by those she skeletons is. though and not able to take out that multi-target Inferno as quickly as I'm sure um, Swifty would have liked. There goes the ability. Not seeing a three star, but just don't think there's enough time to clear that. But I could be wrong. Let's see. We've got under a minute on the clock. Still got the heroes up, but there's quite a lot of clear up to do. That RC is going to be a problem there. And the warden as well. There goes the RC. We still do have the warden uh, surrounded by a few super bowlers in the center there with the healers locked on so this still could be promising but i think it is going to come down to just a matter of time you know yeah we've only got 30 seconds left on the clock i think it's going to be definitely a high two maybe a three he doesn't have any other cleanup troops left to come in and clear off on the right he's just got to hope that that bowler gets through with its <laughs> mountains of healers but i don't think it's going to unfortunately not no and there it goes. Oh. Not the start yeah. Empire Game would have wanted, but that was a very nice effort. There it is. Right, so we've got Leo from Entropy going up against Shadow from Empire Gaming. What have we got in this army? This looks like an interesting one. Seeing a lot of loons. Yeah. Very interesting Lalo combination don't see this often with uh, well, there the goes... heal with that a queen walk Lalo maybe well here comes the blimp oh okay. okay he got the eagle artillery which is I'm sure the plan there yeah the balloons probably didn't go the way he wanted but didn't really have much of an effect so yeah right. so it looks like a queen walk yeah, here it comes. Should get a decent amount of uh, value out of that Queen Walk. Nice bit of fun done there. Uh, I'm just going to very slowly chip away at that gold storage over on the side. But here comes the Archer Queen pushing in with the King as well. Raged up. That is going to take out that scatter shot with ease, as well as the RC. Those skeletons are always a problem for a queen walk, though. They yeah. just kill so much time. It's gonna slow her right down. But queen's still looking pretty good. In with a freeze just to take down that RC. Wow, great wall breaker placement there. Very nicely done. Because the king's ability getting hammered a bit by the uh, CC troops. Phoenix keeps it going. Poison there, down yeah. does not do much effect to those super loons. Ooh, Queen's getting a bit of a hammering now by Monolith. There goes the ability. As you'd expect, it's stuck in the tornado as well, though. It's going to slow it right down. And then a freeze. Ice. Oh my god. I'm not sure if that okay. Queen can stay up. Oh, there's an Invis. Coming in from the town hall side. Yep, yeah, there he goes. The bulk of the attack. While the Queen fights to stay alive. Only nice a minute piece. left on this attack. Gorgeous warden ability. Very nice. This looks like it might shape up to be a three star. That scatter shot is going to give those loons problems. Yeah, and the queen's pretty busy shooting the wall, so not getting a whole Got lot of help out of her at the moment. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to take down that. Yeah, there should be a triple. You're right, Rose. So very very nice lots of cleanup troops left this looks like a triple to me yeah, lots of cleanup to get it's gonna be a little bit tight there'll be a few seconds on the clock when this ends yeah 
but great that was very Leo. Yeah. What a lovely attack. That takes Entropy into the lead. One extra star. But Empire Gaming, well, one extra star, assuming Empire Gaming doesn't three star, but let's see if they've got it in them. Here we go with the next hit already. All right. Looks like we have Shadow attacking now. This is an interesting base by Entropy. Yeah, there goes the blimp. Okay. Looks like we're seeing Super Bowlers again. Yeah. Just to take out a bit of that middle section. All right. That was half decent value. It looks like they got a Inferno as well as the Eagle Artillery. Oh, is that cool? Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. That's got to be disheartening. Oh, my God. Goodness. I cannot believe we just saw that. Oh my god. Okay, well there goes the queen. Uses it. Oh my. Uses the ability and drops immediately. Okay. Well, let's see if they can um, pull it back. Looks like those healers are going to lock on to the king now. Which is not the worst case scenario here. No. Probably would have been better on the queen, but that's okay. Absolutely. They've got the skills to to get it back. They've just got to put it together. Let's see what they can do. Got one minute thirty left on the clock. Still got a decent amount of heroes. So still got a decent amount of troops as well. But mm -hmm. got to get through that town hall section. It looks like they're just trying to save the uh, two star now. Yeah. I'm not sure how concerned they are about the three. Great job with the town hall. Mm, nice warden ability as well, just in time. Very, that tornado trap just stuck them around for a second too long. So they were not able to take out the monolith. Yeah, no, this definitely isn't going to be a three. But a two star isn't that bad. I mean, really they needed a three to stay in full contention. But, um, you know, it's better than nothing. No. Yeah, I've seen wilder things happen. Yeah, They're still in this battle. Although, I've got to say, it is a little bit surprising to see that sort of thing in a grand finals. Uh, it's, that sort of mistake isn't too common. I'm sure they'll be beating themselves up about that. I'm sure, yeah. I'm just going to get no, a little bit more clean up. Job by Shadow. That was great saving the two-star there. Having to sacrifice some loons in the process, but... Um... You know, it could have been worse. Could have been a one star. Could have been a lot worse. That minion might just get down. The elixir storage, yep. It's um, 78, yeah. There we go. What a interesting attack. There it is. Here we go. Right, so we've got Mebot from Entropy up against Anthony from Empire Gaming. Let's see what we've got in store for us. Okay, looks like we have another Queen Walk uh, variant with a Lalo. Yeah. Uh, as well as a Blimp, of course. Yeah. Now he's not going to use the Warden on that Blimp, which is interesting. So that's oh. going to pop quite early. I don't know if he meant to pop that there or not. It... And now they're mm. starting the Queen Walk from 12 o'clock. Yeah, there it goes. Queen's taking a bit of a hammering. You gotta oh, be careful my... of that. Oh. Oh. Ooh, oh. Goodness, that was close. That could have been catastrophic. Those super minions really put out a lot of work. <laughs> they do. The triple super minion is, you need to be careful. You need to pop the ability early rather than late. Um, because, you know, if they shoot before... Uh, the ability is popped it'll still land even when the queen is invisible right yeah still gonna take that damage well there goes the king getting a decent amount of value out of that middle not gonna get the he's year gonna... i don't think no nope. he's now invincible uh, the king did get the defending queen that's good it's decent value then not not quite the year but 
And there goes the bulk okay. of the army. In at six o'clock there. Good. Queen's still pushing through at the top. Mm. Struggling a few traps on the way. Ooh. There is a rage spell on the queen. Yeah. This is a great attack. This is very nicely done so far. Let's see if I can keep up the momentum. I'm sure they'll be able to. They've got so many loons on. That so many shot. spells remaining. That scatter shot was too busy shooting at the queen. Didn't take down any of those loons. Yeah, this should be wow. a pretty easy three star. Wow. Very oh nicely my gosh, done. Gosh, and just swagging the spells. <laughs> Not a care in the world. Wow. What an attack by Mivada. Lovely. So much time left on uh, the clock. They really made that look easy. That was impressive. Wow. And here it is. Okay. Right, we've got Anthony from Empire Gaming attacking against Mebot from Entropy. Let's see, we've got we've got the warden in already. What have we got in the rest and of the army then, Max? Talk us through it. Looks like they are using the similar army to earlier. Um, being at like a super bowler uh, queen or warden walk variant. Um, this is really interesting, and they are not using a blimp, which you don't see often. They're, they've opted for the flame flinger instead. Oh, yes, they have. Okay. And there which goes this the could be good. In. Now, the only thing that that flame flinger will need to watch out for is, of course, the enemy RC, as well as that uh, ground only expo. Yes. I think it will get in range of that pretty easily. Of course, the warden doing some good work there. Yeah, got a good amount of damage out of it. They did use a rage on it, but that doesn't really matter mm -hmm. too much. Queen there to help clear that all up. Looks like they're going to push the Eagle Artillery off the start here, which has been a trend tonight. Lots of health moving into the center of the base. A jump spell right down on the clan castle there in the middle. And now the defending clan castle troops come out. We have a triple ice golem. Well, that's going to slow them down. And they already don't have a whole lot of time in this war. That'll definitely slow them down. And the bulk of their army is oh, right on those ice is. golems. So they're going to lose a lot of time here. All right, well, there they go. Got down the golems, but still got a lot. A lot of pushing to do. There goes the warden ability. That that will help massively. Might just Absolutely. be able to push into that down hall. Nice rage placement there. And freeze placement. Looks like they're just dropping spells at this point. There goes the RC ability. It's enough to take down the town hall, but the monolith is still up. There goes the skelly oh. spell to take down the monolith. Or at least distract it. Wow. It might not be enough, though. Oh, no, it is? Okay. Oh, wow. The queen ability popped. Ooh, this, this looks like a free star to me. I'm not sure on the time, though, so, but I'm always bad at judging that part. Yeah, this looks like a three star, doesn't it? Yeah. There's just so many troops there. The king and all of the barbarians at the bottom are going to make easy work of those uh, yeah. collectors and cannon. That was a lovely hit. Very nicely done. Wow. Great job, Anthony. But here we go then. <laughs> We've got uh, ooh, Lelantos from Entropy attacking against Jesus from Empire Gaming. He's come back and he's playing Clash of Clans. It's crazy. Let's see what they've got in store. What have we got here then? I, I haven't seen a base like this for a little while. Okay, here comes the Warden. Okay, we're starting with a Warden Walk again, opting out of the blimp for the Flame Flinger. That appeared to work pretty well for uh, Empire Gaming, so yeah, I'm not surprised. We've seen it in a few other streams as well. Uh, it's definitely gained popularity since uh, the update, so... And this is a great base for that. At 6 o'clock, there's not a lot that can touch that Flame Flinger. It's going to make... Know, pretty easy work of everything all the way up until the uh, the Eagle Artillery there. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a shame. It's always a pretty slow attack to watch to start off with, and all of a sudden it's just a three-star, so... Absolutely. OK, 
Okay, so the eagle is now activated. We have the defending clan castle, two super loons, as well as a couple of super minions, uh, which should not be much of a problem here. I scared them will slow them down a little bit, but it looks like a pretty strong core of the army. Warden ability is off. Super bowlers are getting a decent amount of rate, but they haven't got down that town hall yet. They're just getting a little bit distracted by all of the other bits. Now that is unfortunate because now those super bowlers are going to walk right into the poison from that town hall. Yep, and there goes the race, but they're just going to get demolished. Yep. Okay. He does get out there. Yep. <laughs> you need to keep in mind that that flame flinger is still alive at 6 o'clock, picking away at the bottom of the base. Still pushing away. And with a little bit of up marches as well. I think with the core of this army, they could keep it up, they could push us through. But still got the EA up. Lots of spells remaining as well. Yeah, lots uh, as of well as the rages. Queen ability and RC. Two rages is a lot of value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks like there it goes should an be a boost though. And there goes the RC ability taking down quite a lot of everything, really. Ooh. Great job. Now that scatter shot is still going to pick away here. And the super it appears that clearing this up as star. well. Yeah, this is a three star, without a doubt, obviously. Didn't need me to say that, but <laughs> wow. What a lovely what hit. hit. Yeah. Back. I am not seeing it, but let's see what Jesus from Empire Gaming has in store against Reen from Entropy. Let's see, what have we got in the army? Oh, we've got a log launch. Okay. Let's see how he's going to approach this. Some zaps. A bit of an earthquake. Mm -hmm. there goes Looks the like they're using a lay low. Which is interesting with the log launcher. Yeah, that is interesting. You don't see the log launcher too much at time of 15, so... No, especially paired with something like a Lalo, an air uh, attack. Well, let's see. Got got the king going in. Should get a decent amount of value. Mm, looks like a bit. she's looking to open up the middle of the base using the log launcher here. Oh, is it? Um, oh, that. Now we have ice golem in the clan castle as well which is going to really put a dimmer on both the log launcher and that uh king yeah well there you go some rocket loons get a bit more value out of there and some yetis now those yetis will uh take out the ice golems now he has not started his lalo yet um but we have the RC and Queen walking up the right side of the base. I'm sure we're going to uh, see that later in from at the top, aren't we? Yeah, there it goes. I believe you're right, yeah. They're in with the Warden. The Freeze. And the RC ability taking down quite a lot of little bits there. But here comes the bulk of it. Oh. Yeah, let's see what value he can get. There goes the Warden ability. Good amount of coverage there. Looks like those loons are not going to be able to get the monolith in the center of the base there. No, nope. and that's going to cause them some issues. Absolutely. That yeah. scatter shot's going to work. It's yes. Oh. Oh, that's not ideal for them. Okay. Oh, we're looking at a two star. Looking like a 89% two star. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Okay, looks like we have a Hydra with a blimp, of course. Um, that is very, very interesting. You usually don't see this attack in uh, esports. Normally, this is used as like a Legends attack. So. It's interesting to see uh, Addy using this. Yeah, this is pretty surprising. Um, but there it goes. I'm sure he's going to get it done beautifully. 
Oh, they see that I hope he does. Oh. Superman's should get down at Town Hall. There it goes. Yes. They nice. did take a shot from the scatter shot there. They did. A oh. little bit of splash. A few of them are still alive. Doing a little bit of work there on take down that call. Well, this is um obviously you know a win for entropy already, so so yeah. Let's see if they can turn it into a three star there. Not sure by seeing it. They've still got quite a few spells left. They've got a clone. Oh no, sorry, they've got an Empress. Thought that was a clone hey, for a second. Oh. Addy has not used the King or RC yet in this attack. It's pretty impressive. That's over there six, goes the king. sixty percent without the heroes, pretty much. I'm sure we'll see mm -hmm. the RC in, in a second. Wonder where that's gonna come from. King's ability. Well, here comes the defending clan castle. Still got a few uh, breezes to slow them down with, though. Mm hmm. Hero troops are getting a little bit distracted on all the other bits around. Oh, and this is just the start because that lava loon is, or uh, lava hound is going to pop and just that so will like take out the RC. There goes oh, the maybe RC not. Ability. Queen is taking a bit of a hit there as well. Hasn't quite got enough to stay alive. Is it gonna? Oh, that invest was just in time, but it doesn't mm -hmm. really change much, unfortunately. No, unfortunately not. It's gonna be a high two star. There is ninety one percent. So look, there's one singular archer doing their best. Coming down the middle. <laughs> We have a few minions and a archer at the bottom here on that uh, elixir storage as well. Yeah. Oh, oh that should be able to get down. Yeah, that it's one. looking like 93. Yeah. Here it goes, Smokey Bear. Looks like Smokey will be using Super Witches. Um, and a blimp. Yeah, so blimp. here comes the blimp right up the middle, which is going to target that pocket uh, to the left of the eagle artillery. But did not take out the scatter shot, which I'm sure was a goal with that blimp. Here comes the queen. She might be able to get a little bit more value out of that, clear it up. I'm sure the uh, routing is right, which is always difficult. Just take a shot in this case, but uh, mm -hmm. might be able to get down that EA as well. And the scatter shot, so let's see. That looks good. Oh, they're going to be distracted by that barracks, which is. Oh, here they go. They've readjusted. There's quite a few people watching this. Let's see if Smokey Bear can pull it off. Here come the witches. Super witches. Super. An interesting Ooh. one. Now, that Eagle Artillery immediately locked onto those Super Witches, which is going to be a problem for Smokey Bear here. Well, it looks like the Queen's about to take it down, seeing it doesn't get distracted. Oh, it does get distracted. Oh, it... Oh. Ah, uh, manages to get it nice. just in time. Perfect. I'm there gonna goes. open up that set of walls there with an Earthquake. That's... Make a way change. into the center of the base. Now, we have the enemy Clan Castle coming out. Oh. Uh, oh, I think the queen might drop to that. Oh, that oops. just about the perfectly alive. timed warden ability. Wow. Oh, I thought that was gone for sure. Lovely, lovely placement. Monolith starting to come into play now. It's getting frozen. There goes both the queen and the warden. And another freeze. Has not been deployed at this point in the attack. Those super witches might not get that town hall. It it's looking a bit tight, isn't it? Uh, now Smokey's gonna deploy that RC there to save the two star. I'm sure that was not the preferred uh, placement. Oh, and the RC does get slammed a bit. And that witch is gonna go down. 
So it's the big baby skelly thing. <laughs> and uh, still got the RC ability to get down a little bit more value, but I'm not seeing a three. I do not believe so either. There's just too much left, yeah. Yeah, that With that RC. Inferno Expo, the Rage spell, uh, spell tower is ready to go. It's just, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. There we go. 81% by Smokey Bear with Empire Gaming. Wow. Wow, wow. What a war. That was... Any particular highlights from you, Max? I mean, that's... I think most of that just was a highlight, really. Overall performance. That it was just all around. They're so well-rounded from their defensive bases. Uh, you can tell they tailored them specially. Um, it's just everything all of it their worst attack being at 93 percent which is not a bad attack at all um yeah just a really really strong performance from entropy there 